Wow, a pixie cut has never looked so good. Hey love bug, welcome or welcome back. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley B. Deck. And as you guys can see, we're going for a pixie cut today. I've teamed up with my first wig and they sent this gorgeous girl over to me. And I'll be doing a very easy, beginner friendly, start to finish lace wig install with this gorgeous girl. You'll see how I installed this one 100% glueless. I'll even show you the details on this new technology of a wig cap you'll be seeing the style the sleigh and all of the above so if you want to see how we got this look let's get started okay jumping right into it turban is linked in the description box you guys have been asking and i delivered this is my favorite turban of all time and we are going to get right into our install so for starters they included this pop out or portable wig head or wig stand for you and then they gave us this beautiful packaging i did personally receive two wigs so this is the second of the two so you should have already watched the first video if not i'll be sure to link it down below and as you guys seen in the intro we are going pixie now i am so impressed with this gorgeous girl she is a malaysian 10 inch 13 by 6 silky straight lace front wig of course she is a pixie cut she has a no glue and no baby hair needed technology the lace is pre-cut the hairline is pre-plugged and the knots are pre-bleached, plus the wig is pre-styled. The lace also is invisible air lace, which is also HD Swiss lace. And as a bonus, you get no shedding, no tangling, as well as a long lifespan. Now, I know that was the earful and a mouthful for me, but here I am showing you guys live and direct how beautiful that hairline is with that scallop cut. The texture is super beautiful and silky. I love that beautiful side part pre-parting and then here's a look at the inside construction of the cap so you do have a frontal ear-to-ear -ear convenience so if you want to do sideburns baby hair even if you don't want to do any of that you still have from ear to ear to play with to get your perfect hairline they did include an adjustable and removable elastic band in bowls with the my first wig logo so you always know which wig in your collection is your my first wig wigs also, here's a look at the nape, and it also has that scallop cut on that excess lace. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my elastic band, adjust it how I like it, and then we can go ahead and get started on the install. If you want to do anything like tint the lace or anything like that, it would be a great time to do that before you put your lace on. And here we are with our wig on. So this is what our gorgeous girl looks like straight out of the box. Don't be alarmed. I know that a pixie cut is not everybody's cup of tea i really really love the way this one came out but i will say that the best way to get a flawless look with a pixie cut is to be sure that the foundation or um what is going on with your hair underneath is put together and by that i mean flat braids or if your hair is short making sure it is just laid down super nice underneath and that way your install can be super flat here's a quick look at what it looks like from the back i love that there's a nice amount of layer and dimension towards the back of the wig so that it definitely gives a professional like very expensive high quality salon cut instead of just being like one big blob of nothing so you don't have to do any custom cut or anything like that yourself they for sure have done it for you here's a close-up of the hairline as promised the hairline is pre-plugged this is swiss lace and then the lace was pre-cut so you don't have to do anything at all and of course the knots are pre bleached here's a look at the hair from the front on one side i believe this is my right side you have the longer layers and on my left side it does give you a more shorter look so here i am just taking my time to kind of just visualize what i want to do and how i want to execute for starters for reference you can always go to their website i do have a direct link to this wig in the description box and you guys can see the pictures of the models on the website and that could kind of give you a guide of like how to or what would be a great way to install but the beauty in this one is that you can for sure do your own thing and switch it up and make this your own so step one for me is simply to just pull the hair back and cut off any excess lace we do not need yes i am cutting into the hair but i want to make sure that this one fits perfectly around the ear and not on top and then 
that the lace does not come too far down as far as the sideburn goes and we are good to go so now i'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of wax around the parting as well as a little along the hairline and this is how i'm going to lay my wig ladies and gentlemen that one i believe came from edge booster which i find out of all of the wax sticks i've ever used this one happens to be one that is the least greasy i guess would be the proper term to call it my carrot care wax is one of my favorites of course the one from bdac beauty is ultimately the best one on the market but if you are looking for one that you can find like in your local beauty supply carrot care is a great one but when it comes to like bobs and shorter or lower density wigs it tends to get a little bit more greasy as far as like the length of the hair goes so be very very careful and light-handed i personally feel like this one from edge booster is a little bit more not dry but i guess you can just say less greasy so that when you are working with lower density or just sh shorter wigs you definitely won't have to worry about the hair on the wig getting too greasy so now that i've talked your ear off we're gonna go ahead and pull the wig back and i'm just gonna melt the lace now this one fits 100 percent glueless you guys seen in the intro as well as on the outro that this one i did wear it glueless but a key for me is to melt the lace before i wear my wigs glueless and typically i like to take a non-glue adhesive kind of like melt the lace in and this is kind of like how i get the wig to kind of like form to or like perfectly hug my head from ear to ear and kind of lay so that it's almost like how do you say like memory muscle memory where every time i put the wig on it'll give like melt it down even though it's not bonded down also you can kind of think of like when you wear eyelashes when you get your strips on day one it may be a little bit difficult to put your lashes on but once they become like a day old or two days old that second use is usually super fire because it has like memory where it already is the perfect fit and it already is a little bit tacky so they're like a little bit easier to put on and then also they already hug or like are the shape of your lash bed if you will on day two that's kind of how i reference bonding the wig down on the first day and then being able to wear it glueless thereafter for this one i did opt for sideburns i figured with the pixie you kind of want to put that piece on the left side or your right side behind the ear so a nice little sideburn would definitely set it off and then from here i am going in and just using the flat irons to kind of bump the ends and make sure that everything is like smooth and straight i'm bumping everything under and when you do this especially in the back where there is a lot of layers it'll show off the beautiful layer and cut of this one really nice nicely and then you could kind of like tease it and fan it out and brush out that bump really nicely you guys know i love to do a little waterfall action in the front so i just kind of like brush the hairline backwards and then kind of like flip it over for that waterfall effect of course you can go in and perfect the back a little bit more if i had help i for sure would but i think i came out great for me doing this by myself from here i did go ahead and tint the lace using that ruby kisses powder mineral powder foundation and i believe this is a shade 15 i'm using it literally until there isn't any more and i use that same product in the parting as well as the hairline and i think it came out flawless now the great thing about a pixie cut which is different than a bob is that you can for sure add your lip gloss and you don't have to worry about it sticking to your face the way the bobs do also i had taken out my earrings for cleaning so i wanted to put an earring back in because i think that makes like pixie cuts a little diamond stud always makes your pixie cut just look a little bit more rich and expensive in my opinion so now that we're done let's go ahead and look at the packaging they did give us that pink dust bag as well as some brown wig caps here's a quick look at all of the specs on my wig which i mentioned and i'll have a link down below and then you also have this little pouch which includes your alligator clips and you get two as well as a rat tail comb that does have my first wigs logo in bows and of course the pouch is reusable and then these two here are some little wig caps that they provided this first one is their old or just a regular wig cap and it does mark out what will be considered the hairline and as you guys can see i mean it's nice but it's not perfect it for sure fits cool but it doesn't fit as flat and flush along the hairline this is the new and improved wig cap which was used on the wig we are wearing today and as you guys can see they have the hairline marked and it is improved as well as like everything it fits like a scully like it literally fits the head from ear to ear 
ear from front to back and side to side perfectly like a glove it's nice and soft and again the hairline is a lot more natural and that is pretty much it love bugs this is the finished look and i absolutely adore this beautiful girl again she does come from my first wig i think she is well priced this is a wig that will last you a great amount of time so she definitely is a staple piece to add to the collection and again she fits a hundred percent glueless so i'll be sure to have the details as well as a direct link on her down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.